for this weekend. We're at Montgomery Bell State Park. I'm going to do the uh, Montgomery Bell Trail. And uh, it's only about 10 and a half miles around, something like that. We're staying at the Wildcat Shelter tonight, so uh, don't even have to bring any tents on this trip. Pit and the Montgomery Bell Trail. So that's where we are. A little P, of course, is where we started. I'm gonna go around the ore pit, around this Hall Spring, Woodland Shelter. I'll go up, check out Creech Hollow Lake for just a little bit. There's a woodpecker. Birds around here. We're staying at Wildcat tonight. So that'll be about seven and a quarter miles. The old log house. Okay, this guy founded the Cumberland Presbyterian Church. And so there's a church right up there. So that's what this is all about. This is a replica. This is Macadal Spring. Just be careful you don't drink a minnow. Alright, we're finally fixing to get away from civilization. That's the ore pit loop. We just did some Montgomery Bell Trail, followed a white one. This is an overlook on this trail. Uh, we started walking down an old road here. Uh, so we're walking along here and there's a coal all on the ground here. Nice little rest spot here. There's not any serious elevation gain out here whatsoever, but I think the highest one is about 150 feet from a low point to a high point. But uh, just enough little hills just to get your lungs going good. But uh, for the most part, it's uh, it's pretty flat. <laughs> so you disagree? <laughs> it's not flat. We've been going uphill the whole damn time. <laughs> It was kind of hilly up until we got to the uh, the old cabin back there and then it kind of flattened out for a while but we've been on a slight little uphill since that little resting bench back there and once we get to the top of this we'll head back down uh oh as far as we can go section right through here has pretty much just been like an old road bed. Alright, so if you look at a map, you see where Hall Cemetery is. That's where we are. Go this way. I wonder if this is where somebody's house might have been at one time. Look like a mailbox pedestal here. No houses out there now for sure, but might have been at one time. Somebody stuck a piece of coal up there and a pine cone. And they made a, I guess a cross there. Trying to be fancy. I guess they figured uh, Jesus would appreciate it if they made a cross. 
Nice little cedar thicket right there here. Yeah, look at it. It's like a bunch of deer antlers. The deer antler tree. Almost to the shelter. Well, the Hall Spring shelter anyway. Usually they have a broom so people can sweep the, the debris off. But uh, this one definitely needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This is pretty much what the, the shelters. This is roughly what it is right here. Some are just fancier than others and some are crappier than others. But if it's raining outside, it's nice to be in. Alright, so there was Hall Cemetery. Here's the shelter where we're at now. Go up and skirt the lake. We're in, I think it's like 1.3 miles to where the woodland shelter turnoff is. And then cruise on up. And there we are. So from the shelter, this is actually Hall Spring right here. So you got a water source just right next to you there. Plenty of water at this spot. I how they got the little hiker dude blazes. The trail goes that way. Check out this mangled bridge. <laughs> wow. That is crazy. Not sure where it's going because it looks like it just kind of ends right out there. I guess, it, well, the <laughs> I guess the creek got up at some point and just completely wrecked it or had a bad storm or something but it literally looks like it just goes right over there and just stops so don't know what this is all about this is sketchy <laughs> these boards they feel like a sponge well, if I, fall through it should make a fun looking video nice bluff right over there at least for this neck of the woods got a beautiful little creek here and this is where it ends yeah, this is nice Yeah, the wood just feels spongy. Wow. It looks like mud wood haven. We just talked to a guy back there and he said that uh, they're working on the dam over there and so they've had to drain the lake so all the others should be good. Woodland shelter. And from Halls to uh, Woodland is only like 1.3 or something like that. It's not that far. And I think it's like 0.3 back to the shelter. So we'll go up here and walk up Creech Hollow Lake a little bit. Check it out. I was thinking as we was uh, hiking out here. Uh, this trail, it's got some small ups and downs, 100, 150, 200 feet, stuff like that. Of course, you got trail shelters out here to stay in. So if there's anybody out there that's remotely thinking about hiking the Appalachian Trail and you've never done anything before, this little trail right here being only like uh, 10 and a quarter, 10 and a half miles around, and with the constant you know up down up down up down even though they're not near as big as the AT this would be a good one to just come out throw your pack on hike up and down these little hills stay in a shelter and go up the next day this would be like 
uh, primary school for backpacking if you want to do the AT. I mean, it's a nice trail. It's really, really cool. Uh, I'm going to check this one out. Even if you just want a little easy getaway trip, this would be a good one. All right, 2.6 to walk yet. You walk out and see the lake a little bit. So this is Creech Hollow Lake. It's a little bit bigger on up. You can see the dam way back there in the back. So it's only about a half mile from where you lay the trail to the very back. So mile round trip if you want to do the whole thing, see the whole lake. I guess that's supposed to be mile six. We're walking parallel with the train tracks now. I hear a train coming, so you can see it here in a minute. Yeah, so this stretch here that follows the tracks, it's uh a little over a mile long and it's just pretty much like this right here it's like an old road we've got about one more mile to the shelter so this stream we're following here literally takes us right into camp. There's our home for the night. I left a pad in here. Yeah. yeah, this one actually comes with a broom and a dustpan. Alright, so we uh, left this morning. It's right about 10 o'clock. We left, and uh, I think it's about seven, seven and a half miles, something like that, to here. And it's just 220, so still got plenty of daylight. It's a sign there that goes up to Lake Acorn, which is where. All these creeks actually go, and the lake literally just starts right over there. So, after I get everything set up, I think I'm gonna walk out to the lake. That's uh, evidence of where the beavers have been here. There's uh, actually a lot of uh, trees out here, if you look around, that the beavers have chewed into. There's one. There's still just a very faint trail, but it's all right. We need the trail, right? As you can see up here where it's starting to open up a little bit. This is uh, Lake Acorn. I can go a little bit further up, and there's a lodge out that way. So we're just going to go up this hill, catch the road, and walk out a little bit, find a better view. Some bushwhacking up the hill. Alright, so, at the top of the hill, I'm in the parking lot now, I'm going to walk out here. So give us a nice view of the lake up here. So this is uh, Lake Acorn. And of course, 
We're camped on around the corner there. And there's the uh, hotel right over here. And so tomorrow we'll be walking across the top of that ridge going back out. Let's go head on back to camp now. Not that I would have any trouble going back to camp from anywhere, but uh, I threw the stick down right here just to mark me a good spot to go down. I'm trying to find the uh, firewood at camp is uh, pretty slim right now. There's all kind of stuff right through here. But uh, I ain't dragging this stuff all the way back there. First, uh, there is a rule that if you leave camp, go to the bathroom, go somewhere. When you come back to camp, you just got to bring some firewood back with you. So I've got something right now anyway. I'm not getting that tree. We made our way back to the uh, path along the edge of the lake. There's one of the locals a while ago was telling us uh, about a couple things out here. One of them is called the White Screamer. People just hear something screaming out here in the woods. Except for coyotes, I've never heard anything. And then there's also, back at Hall Spring, Hall Spring Cemetery, there's supposed to be like a urban legend of a uh, wolf man that lives out there. So, if you stand in Hall Springs, uh, maybe you'll get to see the wolf man. I think I'm about ready to start eating. Right there. My little journey there. Uh, we got ramen noodles with some cheese powder. And I got some chicken in there. That's what's for supper. What you got in there? You make a ramen, you say? Yeah. Ramen and tuna. Ramen and tuna. There you go. Maybe it'll be one of them fields where the fire gets going and actually heats the whole cabin. That'd be cool. That'd be real sweet. As long as they don't smoke it out. Yeah. <laughs> right now it's more smoke than fire. Good morning. I slept pretty good last night. A beautiful day. Packed up, been sitting here, just kind of solving all the backpacking problems of the world for a while. But it's about nine o'clock. Only got about three more miles to go. It's eight miles just past the shelter. You can see where that ridge line goes down. That one goes up where it comes down to the low point. That's the creek that we uh, camped next to, the one we hiked up yesterday. So if you went straight down the bottom of here, where that V is, that's where the shelter is. We walk over and see the lake. Yesterday, on the trip out to the lake, that was the place it was at, looking down at the lake. Of course, we camped over there. There's a parking lot on top of the hill. And there's the inn. down and then continue along that way all right so from back there just cross the road right down here it says 9.5 so if that's right we only got about a mile to go I 
they may have and then they realize there's going to be a pond there and they, maybe we better remake this. Oh, is there a blaze in the pond? Yeah, there's a blaze in the middle of the pond. Yeah. Yeah. The trail used to go right through the pond. People that live in Florida would be like, ah, oh, it's just part of it. Ah, oh, dude, look. We've got actual steps. There's 10. One thing says 10 and a quarter, one says 10 and a half, one says 10.7. So. I think the one at the, on the back of, at the shelter was like 10 and a half, maybe. Yeah. Back in the ups and downs. Alright, so is it Wildcat Shelter? Went up the hill, along the ridge, down by the ranger station, along the way, and there we are. Alright, you know the drill. Thumbs up if you liked it, comment, all that good stuff. Come out here, check out Montgomery Bell. Great overnighter. What about all uphill? It's all uphill. It's all uphill. Later.